Yo, you want worms in here? Yeah, worms are good. Right. Hello. In our last video, I accomplished something that I never thought I'd do and built a raised bed all by myself using all the tools. The other weekend, we finished filling it up. Brendan had some extra time, so he helped me out, but don't be fooled, I did most of it. We dug up some of the great compost that we have behind the hoop house that would otherwise go unused, and we used that to help fill it in after we had the wood chips. Oh, don't make it too deep. I guess we have enough wood chips to fill it in. Yeah, never mind, that's fine. Is that enough? Yeah, if you could get a little bit more, I'll use it in the front beds as well. If I just put all wood chip, it's not good for planting in, because as it decomposes, it uses up nitrogen, which the plants need. Not listening, as usual. Plant bed decomposes what the plants need. <laughs> for planting, I had a couple of TriStar Everbearing Strawberries that I ordered recently from Stark Brothers, but I also had some surviving runners from the Proven Winner Buried Treasure Strawberries that I started from seed last year. I had kept these plants in these containers here, and the runners found their way into the ground and the gravel around it. The plants in the containers died over winter, it just got too cold for them without the protection of the ground, but the runners have been doing great. Earlier in the summer, I put down a little container full of soil to capture and root in some of the new runners that were coming out of these older runners, so I have even more now. I really like these plants for how decorative their flowers are. These are the pink variety. They come in red, white, and pink, and I started all of those varieties from seed. And I had a bunch of plants last year, but only the pink survived. They were quite difficult, these runners, to get out of the ground here because there's a layer of landscape fabric underneath all this gravel and their roots kind of went through it and around it. So I just had to yank them out and see what happened. After I filled in the raised bed even more, I brought the plants over and tried to think about how I wanted to arrange them. Ultimately, I didn't really care too much, but I wanted to have the pink flowers on the edge and the TriStar Everbearing strawberries in the middle. I didn't water them in too much. I knew it was gonna rain right after this. I mostly just took the hose to wash off all the dirt from the leaves.
Meanwhile, Brendan has been working on getting those bottom cabinets in downstairs. He used a laser leveler to get everything straight and lined up. And this, by the way, is how he chooses his drill bit. He feels around with the screw to see what's kind of the same size. So putting in the cabinets today, <laughs> we're just double checking the layout, how we want it, which way the drawer is open. This one only gets one stud because the next stud is right here. This one gets three studs. Three studs? <laughs> yeah, and that one gets this stud, this one gets this stud. Is it okay for the upper cabinets that the one on the end only gets one stud? Uh, yeah, because this one will get two and then we screw it into this one. So it's all kind of connected. Here goes nothing. <laughs> the clean out and make this hole. So I just gotta measure it and we'll bump it out in that. Later that day, we went out and started working on our wood chip pile. So as I mentioned in a previous video, we got this wood chip from a local arborist and they delivered it for free, which was so awesome and so nice. Mostly what I've been doing is I do want to backfill where we took the compost out from behind the hoop house. I'd love to add just a pathway full of wood chips. I'd rather take all that great compost and soil and put it into places where we need and then use all this extra wood chip to help backfill that area. Create a nice walkway that's gonna break down over time and still keep the soil around it very healthy. I don't know if you can see it. There's like steam coming out of the middle because it's composting inside. 
a bunch of like leaves that got shredded up as well. It's not so hot. It might be even hotter in the middle. Well, it's like 59. 50 degrees out here. Yep, because it's the combo thing. I think what I should be doing is also just like watering it in more. The more water that's in there, the faster it'll go. Yeah, I'd say it's about 90. It's still going up a little bit, but that's cool. Too bad. Now I'll cover it up because I want it to compost. I also want to be using this wood chip for all of our front flower beds. So I am using some of that compost from behind the greenhouse to fill in that area as well over the cardboard and then adding in a couple of inches of wood chip mulch on top. Not all plants like to be mulched very heavily, so I tried to keep that in mind in terms of how thick I was uh, putting it on some places and some areas um, and other areas where we didn't really have anything, I just um, piled it up. I got one more order of perennials delivered and this was something that I totally forgot that I bought. It's some extra irises. I got this from Eden Brothers um, and I got eight rhizomes from Eden Brothers, just two different varieties for Victoria Falls and for Beverly Sills. I think the Victoria Falls is blue and Beverly Sills is pink. I'm These irises didn't come quite as healthy looking as the ones from Shriners. It's a bit disappointing <laughs> that they aren't um, quite as healthy looking. They still look alive. Um, in all fairness, I did leave these um, in the box for a few days. I got these like three days ago and I just haven't been able to put them out. I did dip it, uh, dip the bottoms in water just quickly yesterday um, just so they wouldn't completely dry out. This one, yeah, I mean this one. <laughs> I think I have a lot of blue in the back garden so far with the delphinium that I have um, in that little cottage garden area that I'm expanding and blue might tie in nicely on that side of the house because I have blue on the other side. So I might just put all of the Victoria Falls in the front garden and all of the Beverly Sills in the back. Anyways, just wanted to <laughs> quickly show you and I'll get them in the ground and I'll show you where I put them. Here in the backyard in the flower bed closest to the house, here are the Beverly Sills. They're looking um, pretty okay. They're doing well. They've still got some green on them. And here in the front flower bed, in between the rhubarb and the black tower elderberry, I have the Victoria Falls bearded iris. These rhizomes are not looking so great. This one in the front left looks pretty dead actually, so I don't expect that really to survive, but we'll just see what happens. And I just wanted to give an update on some of the other rhizomes that I planted a few weeks ago. They are looking great, and you can see they're even sending up a new leaf. Finally, we capped off the weekend by going to Home Depot and picking out a countertop for downstairs. They had a sample of the cabinets that we actually ordered and have downstairs, so we just held that up against the different um, stones that we might use for the countertop. I will let you guys know what we decided for the countertop later on, maybe in another video. There were a lot of good choices, so it was pretty difficult to decide. Ultimately, I think we went with a good one. I really just wanted to get that decision over with and not have another thing just um, stuck in my mind, just waiting for me to make a decision on. So we got that ordered and what happens now is we have to schedule a time with the countertop company for them to come downstairs with all the cabinets in place and take measurements to get the exact measurements of how they should cut the slab and they're gonna come and do the installation for us when that's done and when they have the slab ready. And I think they do the final touches, just like the little corners and pieces that they need when they are here. I'm very excited for what we have. The countertops were pretty expensive, but I think it's gonna look awesome. 
definitely let me know which countertop you guys would have chosen. I think that would be so fun to see. Um, if any of you guys would have chosen the same one we did, it's there in the video. And that's it for that weekend. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.